I got Ursa again? What the hell? What the hell? What are the chances, dude? First, enchant totem, storm hammer. Looking at all these ags abilities. Um, a lot of good ags ultis. That one's kind of cool, I gotta say. If you do like a fissure into Static Storm or some shit, sounds kind of fun. We got Hunter in the Night. Again, Ursa's stat gain is pretty shitty because he's compensating for having Fury Swipes overpower. So he's not really the best core, to be honest. His uh, starting HP is really high, though. His movement speed's good. Those parts are solid about the hero, but. Fury Swipe Stifling Dagger is a good combo. There's a good chance he gets that this game. Um, battery Assault's pretty good. Slate of Fist is quite good. I was thinking about that one. If I do some Ags combo, which would be pretty easy to do considering this pick, I could basically grab either Void or Resonant Pulse if it's still there. And then transition that into another ultimate. I know Hookshot's quite good with overclocking, because then you get two spells. Four, three, two, one. Your turn to pick. I'm gonna take Dream Coil. It's probably not bad. I don't know. I haven't bothered with Hookshot because I'm always like scared of the mechanics. I'm like, eh. I'm not going to do that great, but to be honest, like I probably should take that more often. Four, three, um, two, I probably want Void here, I think. I, it kind of sucks that I had to take this so early. This is like picking out of order, basically. Especially, I guess, because this would have been good at all stages for silence. Kind of interesting. I, I would have taken Fissure normally, though, because it's the best disable remaining. This is really good. Stormhammer, Overpower, Stifling Dagger with this is quite good, as I experienced, because you can refresh the cooldown pretty well. Oh, he wants shards. I mean, somebody should... Definitely take fucking Fissure. Coup de Grau Fury Swipes is pretty smart. And you get Phantom Knives. Hooray! I suggest Fissure gets drafted. That's a shard. Battery Assault would be good. Battery Assault with Thirst is good. Yeah, he's got Dagger too. His build will be really solid no matter what. Any more Ags abilities? Buller instant cast time could dispel. Anytime I kill a hero, it gets refreshed. It's kind of cool. I could get Resonant Pulse. It'd make my build a little goofy, but more than fine, I think. Thinking that, but... He's going to grab an Ag's ability, unfortunately. Oops. Four, three, two, well, there's one. the ability that I wanted. Um, I mean, Phase Shift is pretty safe to grab at pretty much all stages. This guy also going Ag's abilities. That's the last one remaining, but... Yeah, good luck, dude. You are not the only one. Um... Blood Rate's probably really good with Dream Coil. Two, one. Your turn to pick. There's still Aether Remnant as well, though. This is kind of bad because I don't have Disable outside of ulti, but... 
other than a slow. Wraith around it might have been safer. Like, the problem is this guy's build kind of sucks ass. He was, like, trying to go Ag's abilities, but he didn't get a good ulti like I did. It's the problem. This guy's build is actually quite good. Bloodseeker with Cleave and Hunter in the night. So he'll farm fast, he'll attack fast. It should be good because I can basically just, if I dream quell a lot of heroes, I get the blood right guaranteed. I'll build towards eggs, obviously. Man gets three shard abilities, which is fine, but doesn't necessarily mean his build is good. Battery salt over here, let's see what he gets last. Yeah, I was looking at flame guard maybe. Warcry's really good. He could have probably justified that too, but this will actually help him farm a lot. This is a smart idea. The problem is that his build is like not that good compared to mine to Rush Axe. It has less impact. All it does is gives him jumping and chant totem and like resonant pulse, I guess. And I guess it lowers the cooldown of his ulti, but like it doesn't I, mean, I guess he's got an Earth Shock too with Enrage. That part's a little better. But for shard later, but I genuinely think mine's better. It makes my dream quote better. I get AoE void. I don't know. Yes, if you hold control and alts. I only found out about this because when I was casting with Knoxville, he brought it up. And two games later, I tried it. Control and alt, it helps. I'll support somewhere. Alright, really? Who mid? Of intruders. Are you hitting creeps PA or no? This guy should. He's got. F Bro, you got thirst. Are you sure? Join with me. PA should be fine. You have thirst. You should definitely hit creeps. Pretty sure. So I guess you're mid void. Uh, no. Go top all. Where are you support? Am I mid? Nah, you should go hit creeps mid void or, or something, and then PA hit creeps top, and then I support top. Who calls me? Yes. I don't think it's worth it for me to do anything else. Like, I, I could hit creeps, certainly, but, like, this guy's gonna be better hitting creeps than me. Like, he'll be more effective with thirst. He's got fucking thirst and battery salt, like. Hey, when this shit happens. But this guy doesn't understand his build is the problem, so. He's like, oh, I'm a support. It's like, what? Dude, look at your build. Your support contributions are rupture and battery salt. Like, that's it. He should get, like, one or two thirst levels, and he should level, like, battery salt and flame guard. And push out creep waves. To farm, like, chase items. Or some shit. 80 mana for 80 magic damage. I just did. I'm just gonna trade with this guy until uh, until I, I can stack. So I have a feeling he's weak enough. Sucker. He's gonna block my camp though, actually. Forest. 
first. Can't stack now, actually. I forgot. That way, guys. Now. He gets out with the quelling blade. Yes. Like he's literally got thirst. <laughs> he life steals from Creeps getting last hit. Like. I shouldn't have bothered with this, probably. I'm just gonna leave this for him. I shouldn't take it. Oh shit, he stacked it for us, too. He did get a pull-off, though. Huh? Oh no. Come, little creeps. Outplayed, dude. Mega outplayed. This guy runs faster than me. What can I possibly do against him? What can I do against his might? Oh man, that aggroed them good. Last. Yeah, Flame Guard's actually pretty nice against him. I don't want to gamble that he would run out there a little bit earlier. Get those skeletons, homie. Let them see our teeth. Should have been watching this guy's items. Yes. Though. Profit model with astral step and overpower. Ooh, nice play. I'll bring you. Oh, you have urns. I'll bring you salve if you want. So big. Against all strife. Sit 
upon them. Gold yes. Who calls me? Tracks of intruders feed the trees. Right. Attack! Let them see our teeth. Bottom tower is under attack. The enemy is near. I like how she runs when she's super fast. It's cool. Very cool. Just playing Ursa without arcane boots every game. With a desperate need to have arcane boots every game, I should say. Oh, he's definitely gonna fight. We fight as one. Surely. You probably die, but uh, you know. Fucked up. He meant to attack and then slate. Kind of looks like literally any of us could have helped here. But I was like, he's gonna die any fucking second. It's not worth it for me to go. That's all I could think. Over here, I'm just like, I want levels. I haven't been in that many kills though. This man's like, I just don't, I don't even need Quelling Blade. It's not for me. I'm over here struggling. Need some junglers is what we need. Got a lot of laners though. Oh, I would love a keen optic dude. This guy would also love a keen optic. I'll take it though. Yes. Go to. I'm gonna go back and send for the other thing though. For the forest, a bubble from the bull. This is gonna work, but join with me. Yes. My poor mana pool. I don't know how you kill that guy to be honest. When he's got Astral. I guess my ulti could do it, but let me get Arcane Boots first. Creeps never aggro to skellies, dude. Skellies are like ghosts. They're not there. Ah! Oh no. Spam our opponents. The duration's the same at all levels. Let's 
get more of these now. Dude, his combos are not very good. Maybe it works really good with Astral though. Dude, he's been digging a long time. Look at this shit. Like three mangoes and two salves. wrong. They have a ward. Unfortunate. Taking all physical damage. My combo did work though, right? I'm gonna get a wind lace and now I build eggs. It's kind of important that you get little supplementary items before you commit to your um, your eggs. Because if you just go like raw brown boots and arcane boots, you're kind of like, you're not smoothing out your build like at all. It makes things feel a lot worse in the end. Okay, it looks like I only got one stack. I have no mini stun. I have this now, I can kill almost anybody. We should kill Prophet. Can we smoke to Prophet right now? Let's go to Prophet. Just wait till he walks up to the next creep pipe. We going on when he's here. If he doesn't come, then we're gonna wrap around. Okay, I'm going. Shop. He's got aftershock. The power of a smoke gank revealed. For the forest. Um, look at this one for the mana regen. I'll leave this for you. I'm gonna start hitting some creeps top. I think briefly. Not my best. Against all strife. Dude, he's in hard. Yes. Your bottom tower is under attack. You know, I don't know if I like the um, fact that he got Maelstrom. It's good with Sleight of Fist, but it's not good with God Strength. I feel like it would have been better if you went for a different item slightly.
you got him. Nice kill. That was huge. This game my mana needs are higher. So I'll get the mana regen early. Um, strength would give me raw HP, agility would give me attack damage, probably better. Int items to increase your enchant tone damage. Get like a hex or some shit. Or an Atos or stuff like that. Radiance wouldn't be bad either, I don't think. He doesn't need Orchid because he already has uh, Ags for uh, Sometimes you gotta check, guys. Yeah, I can take that Philly Stone. Almost got my item, though. Drop the wind lace for now. Keep running that way, we can maybe find profit. A gift from the tempest of battle. Yes. Sit upon them. He's mid. I guess I'll get the creep wave, that'll finish my eggs. I think that's a good plan. Okay. Alright, I got eggs now. Whoever I ulti is going to have a bad time. Oh, I didn't get eggs yet. Whoops. So stupid. 
not thinking. I was like, I can ulti this guy, it'll catch him. Didn't work. This was good though, so do more damage. AoE, more stun. That's it, it's fine. I forgot to phase shift. I've not done that yet, I need blink next. Not be getting this for free. This is kind of crazy. I stacked ancients for somebody. Please enjoy them. I think um, Octarine would be really good on me too. Could have maybe phase shifted it would have been safer, but I just gotta keep dream coiling blood seeker and everything is gonna be fine. Who calls me? You should get a new neutral item, void. Either one would be good, Quicksilver or Aquila. Get a ward behind the tower, please. Somewhere like there. Uh, oh me, please. Guys, don't don't chase. Uh. We need a ward around the tier two tower so we can fight there. We need somebody to push bottom to push bottom up. I was ready if I needed it. I'll miss your raindrop. You've given me literally heaps of mana. Blink. Someone pushed top, I guess. Right. 
Guess he didn't want to BKB. all the time dude and I find it annoying should I get a refresher actually I think refresher sounds better because I could get octane but it's only gonna lower my cooldown by a tiny amount if I go refresher I could just get two then they're really fucked because then I can use it twice in a row Shard for me. Not what I meant to press. I can't use. is probably fine in him, I guess. Yeah, just force high ground. That's all I gotta keep doing is ulting that guy. And it becomes the warp super easy. I'm not there. Both seekers heard. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. I don't necessarily like the Aether Lens. Prophet did buy back, that is true. Oh, I mean, Blood Seeker. skill too, but
is near. Gold and sweet. Yes. As long as we have to be pretty careful about this invis shit. Pressure, but we will. Let them see our teeth. Detection on the dream foil? Uh -huh. I must have missed him. Can we hit buildings, hit buildings, uh, hit buildings. So one amplify blood right damage, but it would amplify my ulti damage. He must have just broken this turn right away. Is probably what happened. Jerry, just hit buildings. Come <laughs> Slow. Just hit the buildings, please. We have a huge advantage from them being all bought back. Still kind of need detection. Felt pretty good. We had a lot of burst on our team is the other thing, like it felt like there was a lot of times where even though Earthshaker was um, able to get in there and uh, like jump in really quick, we would just kill him really quick with the Sables, right? We had like Stormhammer and Silence and other stuff too. I feel like that made a big difference. I'm not going to use that overlay, sorry guys. The, um, I don't want to show the drafts of all 10 players at all times. 
this is probably Steam down briefly thing. Um, with that said, Buka said that he's finishing the ability draft aspect of his overlay. The, the Buka is the guy that makes the Dota overlay where you can like click on spells and stuff. So he said he told me he was done with it. I don't know if it's pushed yet, meaning it might not be active yet, but that's going to be up soon. So you guys will be able to see it fine. So you'll be able to see it soon. Good old Tuesday stream mate, steam maintenance, yeah. Clip the end of the draft and leave it in another tab. Yeah, that's uh that's an option that could be done. Um Unfortunate time for maintenance though. What does the book overlay do? Um, so if you, basically if, you use, if you're on PC right now and you're watching on a web browser, you can use your mouse to click on the screen or to hover over the screen on icons, like hero icons, ability icons, their ags and their shard, and it will pop up what it looks like in game. It's, I think it's the most used, um, Twitch integration on, on, on all of Twitch TV because literally every Dota streamer uses it because it's God tier. So the only thing that was holding that back from Ability Draft was spending time on it and he finished it a couple days after the uh, Ability Draft tournament. He's also an Ability Draft player. So it made it easy for him to put effort towards it, I think. I would like to abandon my game. Works on mobile too, exactly. Yeah. So basically you don't have to have all the drafts visible on the screen at all times. GG Torino, you played well. Um, I don't know if he gets paid for. I'm not sure. I mean, he's I mean he's talented enough that he can basically get a job doing whatever he wants. He's definitely one of the most talented people in the Dota scene, no doubt about it. Um, he used to work for Dota Cinema for a while, and he was the one that made all those in-game compendiums work. And he figured out how to like make them all function correctly. And Valve like had to Valve asked him how to make how to make their shit work better. Is what I was what I heard happened because they like didn't everything was like so fucking messy, but he spent the time to like figure out how to make it work. The compendiums, dude's very smart, very good at uh, web stuff. Oh man, so many less people online now. A big abandon right there. <laughs> 